My loves, thanks for returning. I hope this video finds you happy and doing well. As you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be over this little baby right here. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this is it. This is the new CoverGirl Extreme Wear Foundation, and this is in full coverage. It does have an SPF of 18. So let me just go ahead and quickly say, I will have timestamps below just in case you want to skip to certain parts of the video and don't want to hear my little blurb in the beginning. But let me tell you all, I think that this is a good foundation. Um, I do kind of think that they missed the mark or uh, it was a missed opportunity to make this foundation even better than what it already is as you all already know it does retail for ten dollars and i think it like 50 cents from target and walmart and it is considered cruelty free which is good one down thing about it is that it does have alcohol denate in it so if your skin is extra drying you might want to kind of shy away from this one it comes in 21 shades and it is considered full coverage and this is their three-in-one foundation so you get your foundation your primer and your concealer i feel as though this is buildable and wherever you have some problem areas you definitely can go back and spot apply the foundation you know so to speak to help with any problem areas that you may have i do have to say that i love the fact that this is full coverage while at the same time being very light um I could see myself wearing this foundation all day and not just having a fit to where I feel like I have to take off the foundation. It is very light. Also, CoverGirl boasts to be able to get 24 hour wear time out of this foundation. I'm not gonna wear it that long. I'm only gonna wear it a couple of hours. So I'm not, um, I'm probably not the best person to come to for wear tests, but you know, I will wear it a couple of hours so I can kind of speak to that. And it's interesting that that they do put 24 hours you know I guess maybe there are some people um, who wear their foundations that long but I won't but either way with that being said I did pick it up in two shades uh, toasted almond and soft honey and I did mix these two shades together I put in one pump of this and a, a half a pump of this shade to be able to get the shade that I have now now toasted almond is my shade in the summertime I can totally rock this without mixing um, this with anything now with regard to the ingredients you know they don't have anything special in here um, so and, and that's why I say I feel as though they kind of mix missed out on an opportunity to make this foundation even better. Um, they could have thrown, in my opinion, just thrown at least one little skin loving ingredient in it. But you know, that's neither here nor there. I still feel as though this is a really good foundation because you can get full coverage without feeling thick and cakey. And in my opinion, without looking thick and cakey. I feel like if someone had to talk to me in person, I wouldn't give off those uh, cake face vibes. So I can really appreciate this. I didn't have to set it and I think the end result is absolutely stunning. You will see at the end of the video where I have a check-in where I just wore it a couple of hours and of course I'll go in with my traditional pictures of how it looks like um, outside with a flash as well as without a flash. So at the end of the day so far I think that this is the best drugstore full coverage uh, foundation that's been released in 2021. <laughs> so far um, again I really wish they could have add some better ingredients um, and at the same time left out the alcohol uh, donate in it so people with extremely dry skin or who find that that ingredient is problematic so they can enjoy it um, but outside of that I really like it and you all know that I feel as though the thinner the consistency of the foundation, the better. And this one definitely does have a thin consistency. So if you're on the hunt for something that's really affordable, that's going to provide good coverage, I would definitely say to check this one out. I don't really want to spoil, you know, what happened with the check-in. So I just encourage you all to go and check that out to see my thoughts on that part. All right, so with that being said, let's get into the comparison swatches.
All right, so one side I'm gonna use a brush and the other side I'm gonna use a sponge. And this is just a real technique sponge. So I use two shades. Um, I use Toasted Almond, which is this shade. And this is my summer shade. And I used Soft Honey, okay? And I mixed these two together. I used one full pump of this one and a half a pump of this foundation. And here are the two shades right here. And I already have those mixed. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna start off with this side. And apply it. Okay, so there is one side completely done and you can still see that scar on my face so let me go ahead and do the other side All right, so I have the side with the sponge all applied. And I'm just gonna go back in with the second layer just to see if I can get that cover up. I do definitely feel as though if I spot, do a spot application that that would definitely cover up that scar. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. This side with the brush and this side with a sponge. And, and from what I can see, it looks like it's applying it the same. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my complexion and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with the rest of my complexion on and I had to add a sweater because it's cold. All right, so by me mixing two of the shades together, I feel as though it came out to be a good match. You can definitely let me know what you think. Um, I'm gonna come in closer so you can actually see what it looks like before I leave and come back with my check-in. All right, so this is what it looks like up close. Again, this side had the brush and this side had the sponge. All right, so I'm back with my five hour check-in and yeah, <laughs> I have mixed feelings about this foundation as well. And I know you're like, girl, what is it with the mixed feelings about these foundations? I had a mixed feelings about the Huda, the new uh, Luminous Matte uh, Huda foundation. If you haven't seen that review, I'll go ahead and link it up above. But I've had this on for about four hours and I think overall, it held up decently. I am going to come in so you all can actually uh, look at it. However, um, I feel as though, um, even though it doesn't look dry now on my face, I feel as though as time progressed, it started feeling tighter and tighter and tighter, which is really weird. Um, I set it with the LA Girl Shimmer Spray, uh, finishing spray. This is it right here. And I've used that spray before without foundations feeling tight on my skin. 
Um, I don't know if it's the alcohol in it that's making it feel that way. I'm not sure, but I am getting a tight type of feel and I didn't even set it with powder. I did put some powder right here and along here to set my bronzer and a little bit under my eyes to set the concealer that I use. But outside of that, I didn't set it anywhere. Um, I don't know. I'm going to, I got some paper here. I didn't go anywhere. I just kind of hung around the house and I'm going to do this transfer test because it does say that it's supposed to be transfer proof. Um, I really can't test the sweat proof, although I did um, do that test with their last Outlast uh, foundation that they had last year um, and it was not <laughs> sweat proof. But anyway, so anyway, you can see my lipstick and of course you can see the foundation. So I really wouldn't say that it's, you know, transfer proof in that regard. Um, you know, my overall thoughts are, I do like that it's full coverage. I do like the fact that it's not a thick foundation and it looks really thin. Um, it doesn't look heavy on the skin. The only thing that's kind of throwing me off with this one is how I'm just getting that tight feel. And maybe had I sat with a luminous setting spray, I did do my normal skincare routine where I added my moisturizer serums and all of that good stuff. But I didn't want to put on a thick moisturizer because I know how thick moisturizers act on my skin after I've had that on under a foundation for hours and hours so I just wanted to stick with my regular kind. I'm going to try this again with a luminous setting spray and see how it feels okay um, if you have oily skin I think it would be great for you if you don't mind the alcohol donate in it I think it would be fine for you and if you don't mind um, just doing appropriate preps okay and I'm thinking that it could be now that I think about it I'm thinking that it's probably feeling uh, tight as time went on uh, it could be the primer that they have inside of the foundation because of, as many of you all know I just use my regular skincare. I don't use a primer um, Some people believe in primers or some people use primers. Some people don't I'm one of those people that don't use one But either way, let me just come in close so you all can see what's going on Okay, so this is it And I just use the, remember I just put the paper down here so it's gonna look dry right up in this area. But up at the forehead, it does look a little luminous -y or not really greasy, but that's what it's looking like on the forehead. So yeah, this is what it's looking like after about five hours of wear. Uh, I like it. The only thing that I don't like about it is that as time keeps going, you know, it starts to feel tight. You know, it's like it um, starts to tightening up on me. When I did my intro and I said that it felt good on the skin, that was immediately after application, but after wearing it, you know, it just kind of feels tight. So like, anyway, let me know if you all have tried this foundation or if you're interested or if you could care less. <laughs> let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.